Sorry. I'm engaged. What? You heard me. Drinks, Metro Court, right now. Wait. To whom? What do you mean to whom? Max! You want to marry Max? Don't be absurd! Marriage is nothing more than a trap which leeches away your independence and forces you to make compromises no, no woman in her right mind would even stoop to consider. Like shared closet space. The very idea of cramming all of my beautiful couture into a shared walk-in just makes my skin crawl. Besides, Max and I have such a wonderful thing going. Why would I want to ruin it by getting married? Then why did you say yes? How could, how could I say no? Have you seen this cocktail again? Oh, good. This has to set Max back at least ten years' salary. That would be, what, four carats? Five! I know! Which is why you have to give it back. No. Confident, independent career woman, and no matter how much we are both very impressed with this ring, you don't need it to feel validated. But it's so pretty. Focus, I'm, right, I'm right. right there. Marriage to Max Giangotti. Giangetti. Giangetti. Is a bad idea on very many levels. I thought we just agreed to stop criticizing each other on our choice of bad boy bed toys. We did. We pinky sweared on it. But we were talking about sleeping with them. We weren't talking about marrying them. And to marry a career felon with two left feet is not a good idea. You're wrong. Max does not have two left feet. He can be very agile in a situation warrants. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean that. Look. Even if you weren't a minion to a thug, and, and you were madly in love with him, and you want to spend the rest of your life with him, I would still advise you to proceed with caution, because marriage is a very serious thing. You need to think about it before you take that step. I wish someone had advised me that when I married Rick. Now you're just being insulting. Max is nothing like Rick. Max is incredibly sweet, endlessly supportive, and amazing in bed. I never said that. And may I just remind you of the care, the wonderful care he took of me when we went away for that weekend? He makes waffles, you know, Belgian. Strawberries, whipped cream, sprig of mint. Focus. Do you, Diane Miller, attorney at law, really want to be Mrs. Max Giangotti? Betty. Whatever. No. No, of course not. I don't want to be Mrs. Anyone. Then tell poor Max, for God's sake, before the credit people come after him. Bond. All it was was sex. Fabulous, memorable, soon to be repeated sex. Sex? Oh, could you say that a little louder? There's a pup in the corner that didn't quite hear you. As long as money didn't exchange hands, I don't think we need to deal with it any further. I mean, you were quite brazen when we were behind closed doors. And now, all of a sudden, you're, I believe the word is repressed. I would prefer to think of it as discreet. Oh. Since you insist. Everybody! Can I get attention, please? Last night, I slept with Batman. That's all. That's business. Thank you. Thanks. I'm saying this to you as a friend. Too much confession is not good for the soul. I'm a happy for you. I really am. And I understand why you might be feeling somewhat off balance. Because I, too, know the thrill of wild abandon after a long, prolonged period of abstinence. But... I'm going to say this with all due respect. Have you lost your mind? Obviously. What on earth possessed you to announce your one night stand for the entire squadron? You do nothing but credibility of one of you. I didn't want to. He did it. He was going to do it. He forced me back into a corner. Oh, you're never, you're never not interested in your sexual position. That's your business. But why divulge it to the rest of us? Because he was going to. I told you that he also accused me of being ashamed of what I did with him. Well, are you? A night of mindless, meaningless sex is exactly what you deserve after everything you've been through. Ah, uh, except it wasn't meaningless. I don't have any more sex. I'm working on it, okay? Jerry says that I set myself up to be disappointed with men and that I set myself up so that my worst expectations always come true. Well, that would explain a lot. I'm a realist. Relationships don't work. Well, certainly not with the man you choose. Kettle pot black. Yes, but I'm happy with mindless and meaningless. You're getting married. Not anymore. We have sorted yeah. all of that out. Thank God. And now Max and I are free to pursue our relationship unencumbered by the bonds of matrimony. A situation, I might suggest, for you and your psychopath. 
My psychopath said that he would protect my daughter and that I could trust him. <laughs> you believe him? About that one thing I do. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. No, 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 look. The situation is not completely helpless. There has got to be an upside to call him into bed with Jerry. Diane? There has to be an upside. Okay, here's the upside. You are brave. Brave enough to risk your heart. Kudos to you, girlfriend. Push. I can't believe Jason. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to feel like he wouldn't know chivalry if it bit him on the butt. Really? Well, do you know how many times he's actually saved my life? Please. I don't know how you put up with him. Well, I don't think you know him. That's, that's why. That's true. <laughs> Welcome home, by the way. Congratulations on finding Michael and Christina, blah, blah, blah. Now, back to the important stuff. What happened with you and Jason in Mexico? Um, you know, it's long and, um, complicated. Okay, well, why don't you just bottom line it for me? Did you guys have sex? Maxie, I'll take that as a yes. Was it good? Better than good? How much better than good? Like, were there explosions and out-of-body experiences? I don't want to talk about this. <gasps> Sam, that's so amazing. I'm so happy for no, you. Stop it. There is no Jason and me, okay? We are friends who occasionally work together. I totally get wanting to keep things casual. That's how I felt about me and Spinelli until things started spiraling out of control. Huh? I mean, I do love him, but can't a girl just love a guy and commit herself to him without making some huge always and forever statement? <laughs> I guess that's hard to do when you're getting married. You and Spinelli are getting married? Oh, yeah, that's the plan. Wow. I'm sorry, but that's just... Not the most enthusiastic response I've ever heard. Uh, I just feel too young to get married, and I really want to focus on my career. I just got promoted, and I feel like now is the time I should make my mark in the fashion world. Okay, wait a minute, though. Spinelli's always been supportive of your career, so... Still, I just don't feel like marriage is for me. And I keep getting this sinking feeling that I'm walking into a trap, and when I finally get in it, I will be banging on the bars, begging to get out. Uh-oh. Have you told Spinelli any of this? Oh, I tried. But he's just so happy. I couldn't bear to break his heart. And then we made a wedding date, and this whole thing just kind of took on a life of its own after that. <laughs>